Hey there and happy Thanksgiving. And this devotional today is um, to celebrate all the hardworking women out there. It's about Dorcas, November 23rd, Conflict and Courage, the first Dorcas. Acts 9 verse 36 says, Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. Proverbs 31 woman. At Joppa, which was near Lydda, there lived a woman named Dorcas, whose good deeds had made her greatly beloved. She was a worthy disciple of Jesus, and her life was filled with acts of kindness. She knew who needed comfortable clothing and who needed sympathy, and she freely ministered to the poor and the sorrowful. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. Hearing that Peter was at Lydda, the believers sent messengers to him. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber and all the widows stood by him weeping and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. The apostle's heart was touched with sympathy as he beheld their sorrow. Then directing that the weeping friends be sent from the room, he kneeled down and prayed fervently to God to restore Dorcas to life and health. Dorcas had been of great service to the church and God saw fit to bring her back from the land of the enemy. Amen. That her skill and energy might still be a blessing to others. And also that by this manifestation of his power, the cause of Christ might be strengthened. Let the children and youth learn from the Bible how God has honored the work of the everyday toiler. Let them read of Jesus the carpenter and Paul the tent maker, who with the toil of the craftsmen linked the highest ministry, human and divine. Let them read of the lad whose five loaves were used by the Savior in that wonderful miracle for the feeding of the multitude, of Dorcas the seamstress, called back from death that she might continue to make garments for the poor of the wise woman described in the proverbs who seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands who stretches out her hand to the poor yes reacheth forth her hands to the needy of such a one god says she shall be praised give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.